You can store custom attributes for existing transaction traces and error traces via the New Relic Agent API in order to get more detailed information about your app's performance. This tutorial will cover how to select the correct method for adding the custom data you want, how to add custom attributes using the APM Agent API, and some basic troubleshooting. For this tutorial, I'm using a calendar app written in Ruby. My app has two different search features. I can enter search terms into a search field, or I can click on a tag in the tag cloud. I want to find out how my users are utilizing the search feature in my app, so I'll go into my APM account and look at my search transactions. I notice right away that I don't have very much detail about the search itself, just that a search occurred in my app. If I dig into transaction trace details, I also notice that something took a long time, but I don't have enough detail to draw any conclusions. Later, I'll add custom instrumentation to dig deeper into that big chunk of time here. But right now, what I really want to know is what my users are searching for in my app and what kinds of results they are getting from their searches. So I'm going to add custom attributes for search terms, tags, and the number of results returned from those searches. Because each agent API has language-specific API call syntax and methods, and my app is in Ruby, I'm going to demonstrate this with the Ruby agent. You can also go to the Ruby docs for specific info about the New Relic Ruby agent. So let's dive right in. The first thing I need to do is check my agent version. If my agent version is 3.12.0 or higher, I'll need to use the add custom attributes method. And if my agent version is 3.11.2 or lower, I'll need to use the add custom parameters method. So I checked in my account settings and found that my app is using the Ruby agent version 3.16.3.323, which means I'll be using the add custom parameters method. First, I'll need to call the relevant API method in the parent method. Right now, my app already has a search method that we saw earlier in my APM transactions, but I need to know more specific details about those searches. So I'm going to use the instant variable created by the search method in my new method, add search terms. Because I'm relying on instance variables created in the search method, my new method has to be called after the search method, so I'll use an after filter. Just a quick side note, you might notice that this doesn't look exactly like a normal Rails controller. This is because my app is an engine. Therefore, I've used the method class eval in order to reopen the controllers. So to recap, I added a method and an after filter that says to run this method after someone searches in the app. Finally, in order to keep things a little less cluttered looking in my New Relic account, I added or empty string so that when there's no data to report or nil, the app reports an empty string in the APM UI. Now that I've added my custom attributes, I'm going to check that it worked. I'll go to my app and click on a tag and do a search to generate some traffic, and then flip back to my Insights Data Explorer to check recent attributes recorded under Transactions. And here I see the tag and search term I just entered into the search field. Next, I'll go to my APM account and look at the search transactions. I'll open a trace and scroll down to the transaction attributes to see if any search terms or tags have been recorded. And here I see the search term learn. I also have a data app I created to view my custom data. Once enough time has passed and several search terms and tags have been recorded, I can see the data displayed in charts and graphs here. I can click on a list of the most popular search terms for today, which is linked to a page showing the number of events with that search term, the days of the week when searches for that term happened, and the total number of searches in the past 24 hours. I have the same view for tags. This data gives me a lot of great information about what users most frequently search for in my app. If you have any trouble adding custom attributes, check that your attributes are not exceeding data limitations for custom attributes. Transactions are limited to 64 custom attributes. Attribute keys, this is the label for the custom data, are limited to 256 bytes each. If the key exceeds 256 bytes, the attribute will not be recorded. And finally, attribute values are limited to 256 bytes each as well. If the value exceeds 256 bytes, the attribute value will be truncated. In the next tutorial, we'll go over how to add custom events.